Uh, welcome everyone to uh, the coaches clinic. This is awesome. Good numbers. I uh, poked my head in yesterday and uh, watched a session and uh, I got to watch coach um, Dave from University of Regina and uh, I actually wanted to see uh, what he was doing uh, in the clinic with his transition so that I could kind of blend it with mine because uh, we're talking about front court. So um, it was uh, great to see Dave on the court yesterday. Uh, who was here yesterday? Many of you? Awesome. Way to put your hands up. Good job. Way to be honest. Because you all could have kept your hands down. No, I'm just joking. Um, I've been at uh, the university here for 18 years. And I've done a few clinics. I can't say I'm very good at them. Um, but I do like coming to the clinics. And I would much rather be on that side, to be honest. Um, I love being in the gym with my athletes. And it's usually, you know, in the gym clothes. So I don't have to speak in front of 300 people. But uh, no, this is good, though. I like to share. And... Um, so what I liked yesterday with uh, Dave is he talked about a system and how he had transition one, transition two, transition three. So he actually had a system coming up the floor. Okay, the next part of that is making sure when you come up the floor, you're coming into your front court. So uh, when he had his kids running the lanes, he had them coming up into the front court and that's kind of where I'm gonna continue on from. So it makes sense. Uh, he talked about using his transition for his offense, which I think is really good. Uh, but he does have a system in place, and that's kind of what uh, I'm going to show you today as well. Uh, over my uh, 18 years, I've had a lot of great coaches help me, which has been awesome. Uh, many of you may know Dale Bradshaw, a guru of basketball, guru of basketball here in Manitoba. He's awesome. Uh, he started with me, well, back in 1996, and uh, introduced me to a lot of concepts that we still do today with our program. And uh, I will be showing a few of those today. Uh, I also had the opportunity in 1999 to work with uh, Allison McNeil with the junior national team. And um, actually that was in 2001. 1999 was with Christine Stapleton with the student, uh, that was with the student national team. Junior national team was 2001. Learned a lot about uh, penetration principles. So you have a front court offense you got to be able to play without the ball. So that was a lot of stuff that I learned back then. I'm going to share that with you today as well because we still do it and it's important. Uh, one of the things I, I've noticed over the years when I go to watch teams play and they're in their front court offense and they're playing, one kid has the ball, okay, the other four aren't moving. Or one kid has the ball on a flash, goes to shoot the ball, and the other, the other four do nothing. One of the things we really try to emphasize in our front court offense is playing off the ball. Okay, you gotta be able to play without the ball. All right, and when a shot goes up, you gotta have three rebounders, and you gotta have a short and long safety. So that's a lot about how we, we have our front court off in the offense that is set, but we make sure that there's principles within the front court so that we have organization. So uh, just to kind of get a start from the beginning before I get these guys going, coaches, when you create your front court, a lot of you will have your own philosophies. You might like a four out around one. You might like a three out around two. You might run a motion offense. You might run the Princeton offense that Dave brought up yesterday. You might have a philosophy of what your front court is. I suggest you the first thing you do is take a look at your team. Okay? Now, if you're a young coach and you have a young team, you know, you're, you're working on development. As you get old, into the older groups, high school, elite, university, you're going to get a little more specific. But your offense should be around your kids. Okay, it shouldn't be, this is what I'm running because I'm the coach, and that's it. You've got to be flexible. Okay, so creating an offense, uh, knowing your kids. And that's what we've tried to do with all our sets. Uh, one of the things I'm going to get them to start, okay, guys, I'm just going to get you to have one team at each end. We're going to be uh, in Kansas. Okay. So before we begin, you're just going to see the structure of it. Okay, so when Dave talked to you yesterday, he talked about coming up the floor and transition. Okay, so here we are, we've come up the floor, we're in our Kansas set, okay, we're wide on the wings. Okay, let's start wide first, Adele, let's go wide. Okay, so we're four out. Okay, so we've come up the floor, we have our two wings that have gone up the floor, we have a lead post, we have our point guard and a trail. Okay, so this is one of our sets that we use. We come up the floor, it's four out around one. Okay, within this offense now, we have a lot of different concepts. Okay, so guys, what I want you to do, let's start Halo. Okay, so 
when we're in our front course, what we try to do is we begin, we have different entry options into Kansas, into our four out round one. One of the first things we do is we come off the screen, we enter the ball to the wing. Okay, pretty simple. And then we get some action. The guard goes away. We start getting moving. Let's reverse the ball all the way around. Good, keep going. Good, keep going. We're gonna go to the shuffle cut, flash. Good, we're gonna go back screen. Good, continue, go right to the ball screen. And let's get a score. Good, so this is a continuity offense for us. It fits in 20, into the 24 second clock. Okay, let's do it on the left side now. Gotta be able to do it on both sides. Because if you lead, if you come up the right side or the left side, you gotta be able to replicate it. Okay, so here we go, left side all the way through to the ball screen. Okay, we're initiating on each catch. Proper pivot foot, target hands, we're talking. Good, good, keep going, good to the ball screen, play off the ball screen, excellent. Okay, let's go to the right side, do it again. So one of the things that we try to do with our front court, and I really believe in repetition. This is something that I learned from Dale Bradshaw. If you wanna build confidence in your kids, in whatever you run, press break, transition, your defense, maybe you're running a match defense, uh, maybe you're pressing full court, you're running run and jump. You gotta do it over and over, teach the kids what you want, repetition builds confidence. Okay, I could yell out right now. Okay, let's actually try it. Uh, stop, uh, let's go, everybody in the end line. They're trained well, eh? This is why I brought my group in, they're trained well. These guys are pretty disciplined. This might be one of the most disciplined teams I've coached in my 18 years. So these guys are pretty good. Okay, give me uh, five on the floor, we're in press break. Okay. Okay, let's go. So they, they know right away what we're in. Okay, we're gonna go regular press break. Uh, give me two different options, let's go. Good, start talking, that's it, good. Good, start talking. Good, so they're already talking boards. They're talking long safety and short safety. Okay, so they're already, they're already initiating that with each other. Good. Okay, well done. Okay, so just an example of repetition. These guys do this every day. Okay, so they're used to it. They know what they're doing. Okay, let's go back to two teams, guys. Good job. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's go into penetration principles. Okay. So we have our front court set. We're four out of round one. We call this Kansas. Okay, we, it's continuity for us. We enter, reverse, it's the same pattern. We can do it on the left side. We can enter, reverse, same pattern. Do we have wrinkles in it? Yes. Okay, we can do, uh, let's, let's show them, uh, overplay the two, let's play off the high post flash. Okay, so the, so the wings overplay, we have a counter. Play off the high post. Okay, give me a score, yep. Good. Crash the boards, short and long safety, good job. Okay, let's do a uh, reverse entry now in Kansas and hit the shuffle. Okay, let's make sure we have a flash and a dive. Now, one, some coaches might argue, well, you know, you should run a motion offense and let them play, let them learn and play off each other. Absolutely agree, okay? All coaches are right, right? Would you agree, all coaches are right? Some are smiling. Um, it's what, it's what, you know, I try to, you know, come up with offenses that fit our talent. You know, have repetition so that you can build confidence. And when you run your offense, you try to feature athletes in certain areas to build, to play off their strengths. But you're also teaching concepts to teach them to play. So when we break down our offenses two on two, three on three, we're teaching them to play. Okay, so let's go penetration principles. We're gonna play off uh, wing entry, baseline penetration. Okay, so one of the things you wanna do within your offense, I will have a, a copy of this that I'll give to Adam. He can uh, put online, plus you'll see the video again if you watch. These guys right now are playing off penetration principles. Balls enter to the wing. Okay, the guard looks to attack the baseline. The other four are doing something. They're moving, they're filling space. They're in rebound position, they're in long and short safety. 
Okay, so off the penetration principles, you have five options. We started with the baseline penetration, that would be a shot, and then the other kids are filling. Okay, where are we at? Good. Good, so you always want them moving in your front course. You always need to have rebounders. You need to teach kids to play off the ball. Okay, let's flip it now and go to the left side. Baseline penetration. If, if you would like this diagrammed out, set by set, you're, feel free to email me. I have this all on the computer. Okay, these are general pe penetration principles. These are principles that Christine Stapleton and Allison McNeil followed through with the national team program. Okay, these are very common. Okay, the key is playing off the ball. Okay, where are we at? Okay. Okay, both teams now, let's go uh, penetration middle. Wing entry, penetration middle. Okay. Everybody's moving and talking. Okay, so now they're adjusting to middle penetration. Constant movement. Okay, we have uh, on the, uh, let's go, Steph, you're popping out. Are you, did you do the first one? Let's do the first one. Okay, so first one, popping out, initiating. Okay, we have a dive, we have a drift, we have a shooter moving to a shooting spot. Okay, next one. Good, same pattern now. Okay, so we try to stay with the same pattern teaching all five, all five scores in the penetration principle. Good, rebound, short safety. Good job, Adele, that's it. Okay, and stop. Good job, guys. Okay, now we're gonna play off the post. Okay, we got, a, we got a wing entry, and we're gonna play off the post. Okay, another part of the penetration principles. Here we go. So the first part of the penetration principles in your offense, and these are basic. You can teach young kids these if you're patient as a coach. So you have penetration on the wing, baseline or middle. You have a post entry. Okay, again, the kids are just moving off the ball. Okay, these are simple concepts. Okay, they all know where to move. You just teach them. Again, you have your boards filled and you have your short and long safety. Okay, within this, we're talking about footwork, how they should be pivoting. So I'll pick on the white team here again. Okay, so Stephanie pops out. She's got a right foot pivot. She initiates. Good, we're playing off the post and freeze. Good. Now, just rewind a little bit. Good, rewind, rewind, good job, good job. Okay, so when we talk to Skylar about her footwork in the paint, okay, we want her posting up. She's got a right foot pivot so she can pivot up the lane. Face uh, Steph. Good, so she has a right foot pivot. Now, if she was looking to score, we want her to drop step and go power in right away. Uh, she's pivoting up the lane. Off her, we have what we call a flash and dive. Okay, so rewind. Who's diving? Okay, target hand on the edge of the board, dive, good. Dive and a flash. And Britannia is floating to the shooting spot. Okay, good, okay, let's go through it, keep going. Okay, so out of that, anytime we make a post entry, our kids are always looking to flash and dive off a post entry. You know, if there's a double on the post, somebody will be open. One of the most frustrating things when I watch other teams play, okay, Aside from our opponents, of course, because if they don't move, I don't care. <laughs> okay, but when I go to watch high school teams play, you see the ball going to the post, and you see the other four staring. I call that the, uh, the Gretzky view, right? Everybody sees, well, you guys know Gretzky, right? Or we can call it the Jordan. When we watch them play, everybody just stare. Oh my God, look how great they are. Okay, so here we want them moving all the time we don't want them Gretzky watching or, or Jordan watching now I know I'm older than them and I use those terms but they know what I mean you want them moving all the time okay oh hey good that was good okay so we've got our we got our penetration in from the baseline we got penetration middle we're playing off the post 
Okay. Now, if we were to attack right now uh, down the middle, okay, let's look at open. Okay, open set. Okay, so this is an open set where we're looking to attack right down the lane. Again, it's four out. It's four out around one. Okay, so we still use the framework of what we started with with Kansas. Now, if we have Britannia moving straight down the lane with her right hand, her strong hand, go right to the block, outside the block, uh, down the right. Yeah, good, go. Good. Now, freeze. So on the strong side here, part of our penetration principles, we're setting up our shooter. And depending on how her defense slides or helps or doesn't help, would determine how Britannia is attacking. On this side of the floor, we want action. Okay, we have Danny screening down for her twin sister Adele, so we can't mix them up. Okay, right now in that position, if Britannia was to score, because she's moving towards the basket, we would have three people at the net, and then Stephanie and Adele would be reading short and long safety. So we're still following the same rules. Okay, if Britannia didn't look to score, okay, then Skylar would be screening for Danny, Danny would be coming into the vacuum, okay, and again, we would have options off that. Part of the penetration principles down the middle of the floor. Okay, so let's stay in open and let's hit different people. Okay, so this would be a strong side penetration right down the lane. So what I'm trying to show you is whatever front court you have, you're going to have attacking areas. Okay, from the wing here, on the wing you have your baseline penetration, middle penetration, and your post entry. Now we're going down the lanes. Good, okay, let's go to uh, push. Actually, let's go back to Kansas. Let's stay, let's keep Skylar on strong side. And let's just do a what if. Okay, so Steph popped out, she wasn't open. Skylar, Skylar's not open, she might flash. And Britannia decides to push the ball left, right down the middle, but opposite. Okay, we looked at going straight down the lane. If Britannia was to go left, all we would do is shift our shooters. Okay, you could dive the trail. Okay, but we could shift our shooters and play off that attack. All we would ask Britannia or uh, Skyler to do is put her right hand on the edge of the board. So attack Britannia to the left. And then we would ask uh, Steph to rotate. Okay, so just so that you see when you're attacking the lanes of the offense, you want to make sure people are moving off the ball. Let's do a couple of those. Okay, same thing down here. Good, attack, good. Well done. Good try, good try. Edge of the board, Britannia. So some of the... Uh, Offensive philosophies that we stick with, okay, got to be able to play off a pass, you got to be able to play off the dribble, you got to be able to move without the ball, you got to play with a purpose with and without the ball, okay, they don't, <clears throat> they don't get to this point without doing drill or breakdowns where they're working on footwork, where they're working on passing, okay, where they're doing, they got to do the breakdown stuff and I'll do a little bit of breakdown stuff in a sec. One of our philosophies is getting the ball inside. You got to be able to have an inside game and then be, an, be able to have an outside game. So our focus is inside out. Inside would be off penetration or off the post. We talk to our athletes about playing within their package. They each have a skill set. We try, because they get to play here five years, over that five years we add to their skill set but we ask them to play within their skill set. So we're not going to pop Skylar out for a three if she's not a three-point shooter. Okay, and stop. Okay, so let's go back to Kansas. Let's show them one more time. Uh, enter, reverse all the way to the ball screen. Just so we can see the pattern. Oh. 
This has good spacing, good floor balance, they're moving off of one another. The other thing that's important within the offense, not only that they understand their skill package, but they also have faith in one another. They know what the other person's bringing. So when they're working five on zero, they know exactly what's going on with the offense and with themselves and their teammates. The last thing that we ask them to be when they don't have the ball and the shot goes up, they gotta be offensive rebounders. Three on the boards, long sh safety, short safety. Okay, good. Okay, right down here. Are we taped? Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just start with five on five. And we're gonna check the ball with the guard. So one of the things that we'll do, so we did it five on zero so you could see the shell part of it. The other thing we'll do now is they have to enter the ball and play it through all the way to the ball screen without the defense stealing it. And then we're live off the ball screen. Okay, we're ready? Go. Good, initiate, good job. Good, good, and now we're live. Good. Nice shot, Taylor. Boards. Ah, long safety, short safety. Ah, darn. <laughs> okay, so the reason why we'll do this is so that, again, they get the pattern. Okay, because it's a continuity offense. If it wasn't continuity, we might do it a little different, but because we just want the flow, okay. Uh, this time what we're going to do, let's go uh, Kansas high. So I'm going to show you how I put a wrinkle in. Okay, so uh, who's on offense right now? White's on offense. So, uh, Steph, put your hand up. Okay, so Steph is uh, one of our fourth year athletes. Okay, and she's a scorer. Uh, any, uh, let's see who's in the stands today. Is, is uh, Dave here from Regina? How about Michelle from U of M? Okay, because this is secret. <laughs> Joking. It's okay. They, they know what we run, it's on video. <laughs> Everything's, uh, everything's out there, so. Okay, so we're trying to feature Stephanie right now. Okay, so we're in Kansas High. Ready? Good, and we're dive, 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 Danny. Danny, dive, good. Oh, they still found her. Good shot. Okay, and stop. Okay, so the first part of the wrinkle is making sure we get Steph a touch. Now the kids know if it doesn't work, you got to keep playing and you got to find another scoring opportunity, which they did. They actually found Steph in the short corner, which was good. Okay. But one of the things you want to try to teach them is, even though you run a set play to get a kid a touch, if it doesn't work, you got to be prepared to do something else. Okay. Let's go uh, Kansas low for Skyler. Good one, shuffle. Good dive, dive, good. No, no, okay, that's good. I like that, I like that. Okay, so Kansas low for our focus would be getting the ball into Skylar. Skylar, raise your hand. She's our post player inside. Okay, so all I've done is taken our set and made a couple wrinkles to try to get touches for certain kids. Again, the kids know if it doesn't work, they gotta continue playing and play off of it. Any questions so far? We're good, okay. Okay, let's go, let's go back to Kansas. Okay, so I want to show um, why we, when we're in Kansas high, why we curled and pop. So um, one of the things, and I, I'm, I'm not going to go through it because I don't, they didn't give me three hours today, they only gave me an hour. Um, reading screens. Okay, one of the reasons why we curl and pop is generally when they're playing Stephanie, they'll tailor. So right now, Megan's tailing Steph. Let's keep white on offense. Okay, so Megan is behind Steph, and when a defender tails you on a screen, you curl it, and Skyler would pop. Okay, so that's just a reading action that we have within our offense. Okay, and it's one of the things you gotta be able to teach your kids when you're running your front court offense, reading screens. Okay, that's, a, that's another clinic though. I think that's actually on video from, where's Adam? That would be four years ago, I think I did that. Okay, so, uh, so when we curl and pop, we're reading the screen, okay, and, and what we inserted out of the uh, Kansas high was just featuring Steph so that it was simple. You don't want to get too complicated with your offensive set, 
Okay, you know you can go and you can go on the NBA websites and you can purchase the NBA playbook. Raise your hand if, you, if you've ever bought the NBA playbook for a team like the Lakers or Chicago. Okay, I mean they have a hundred plays. And you wonder how sometimes the guys remember them. Bottom line is if a play doesn't work, they're just going to play. Right, you got to teach them to play. So we do have a few sets that we run that are very organized and get them looks. The bottom line is though, if you have a million plays, they gotta be able to play out of them. And you don't wanna confuse them too much. Okay, so let's go, I'm gonna give you a couple more different sets. Let's go, let's go back to push. Let's shadow it. This is a good warm up for the game tonight, girls. Okay, so when we're in our push, uh, many of you probably already know in the FIBA rules and the shot clock, a lot of ball screens are used. Okay, so we do have ball screens that are inserted into our offense. So push, this is an offense. Again, it's four out. Okay, but allows us to play off a ball screen. Ready? Let's play live. Let's go. Good. Good, nice shot. Well done. Okay, when we scrim, sometimes what we'll do, we'll do five on five like this. Okay, we're going to go five on five plus one. Okay, five on five plus one. We're going to get the legs moving a bit. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, play it, play it, let's go. Good, we need a middle, we need a middle. Good. Oh, imbalance. Play it out, play it out. Good, five, four, three, and stop. Okay, so uh, when we went five on five this way, we stayed pretty, pretty organized. Okay, we ran off push, which was good. Got a pretty good look on the, when the clock was going down. Uh, on the breakout, okay, now if I'm coaching them right now, I would be talking to them about breaking out. They actually didn't get into their press break. Okay, we should have had a middle cut. I think Danny should have cut. Or Adele, which one? Danny? I think it was Danny. Okay, and so when we come across half, Okay, I would have want my point guard, Britannia, because they didn't get a layup in transition, it was in transition, um, to set up push. Now, you, you heard Dave yesterday talk about when they are in transition, they're looking for an early three, okay? They're looking to attack the rim. What was the third thing? Post up? Was it just attack the rim and post up? Anyway, he's looking for an early three. That's been with Dave for a long time. And uh, that's how Regina plays, which is, which is uh, good. It's part, it's, fits her style. Uh, one of our philosophies is if one of our three-point shooters is open and we only have we have a couple that have the green light okay we don't give all 10 all 9 or all 11 a green light raise your hand if you got a green light <laughs> okay so uh, Megan is allowed to come down out of transition and take an early three okay so Michelle and uh, from U of M and Dave from Regina you know maybe John at Lake they, they hear that now <laughs> Okay, Megan's coming down, and she's the only one that take an early three. Now, Steph has a green light sometimes. Uh, Alyssa might have a green light. And our fifth year, Danny, she's graduating to that, so uh, it's coming. <laughs> okay, so we'll do, when we're doing five on five, we will keep it pretty organized so that they're learning the structure of their front court. When we're doing our transition, like Dave did yesterday, we will do it that way to build into our offense. So uh, let's start with red has the ball on a rebound. White, I want you up the floor on defense. Just, yes, yeah, staggered. Good, staggered. Okay, we're going to make an outlet pass. We're not going to be pressing. Okay, so we would do this coming out of transition where we don't have a, a early three or shot or a layup, sorry. Uh, we're coming into our front court. Okay, so right into Kansas.
And rebound. Good job. Good offense rebound. Okay, and stop. Good job, guys. Okay, so, you know, we'll play a game to five or a game to seven. I'm sure you all do that in your, with your teams, okay? Um, but we really try to stay within the structure. Or what will happen is when they're playing, and um, Coach from Netherlands brought it up yesterday. He'll just say, stop. Point out options. Maybe they have different options in different situations. We'll do the same as well. Um, but it's important that when you have your front court, the kids understand, again, it's repetition. You want to do it repetitively so they build confidence. Okay? Their skill set needs to be strong. They need to be able to catch the ball and initiate. They need to be able to pass. So there's a lot of skills, as you know, you need to practice before you smoothly get to this point. I'm pretty spoiled right now. These guys are doing a great job and they know what we're running, which is probably a good thing. Um, but uh, it's important that they understand, okay? So I'm going to start firing off a few offenses now uh, so they can, uh, they can show you how they do have a memory and we can do different sets. Let's go Duke. Okay, uh, shadow. No, uh, no steals. Okay, just shadow. Okay, here we go. Good, and shot. Good. So built in, we have screen for the screener. Okay. Uh, so that'll be on uh, this when it's uh, when you have a look. So let's just go slow mo so we can see the screen and then the screener. So uh, yeah, reds on offense. Good. So the first part of it is making an entry and we send our shuffle cut off. Okay, and then carries down screening for Alyssa. So screen for the screener built right into the offense. If Alyssa didn't have a shot, we're actually sliding into another continuity offense that we run, and it's called the wheel. Raise your hand if you've learned that offense through Dale Bradshaw or Brian Kornberger. <laughs> There's a few of you out there. Okay, so that's what we would do with this. Okay, so the kids know, again, they get into a pattern and they're confident they know what they're doing. Okay, let's go, um, well, let's go Westman 2 curl. We haven't done that one. So let's see if you remember, because we haven't done this one much, so we'll see if they remember. Okay, remember you gotta make an entry to the corner and dribble it out. Here we go. Good. Good. Good, and there she comes. Pop, well done. Okay, what I've found with that 24 second clock, like your first, you know, eight to 10 seconds is coming up the floor. And then, and then you gotta get some good looks. Now, if we had five NBA players on the floor that were amazing and could score at any point in the time, it, that's, it'd be different, right? But we have, you know, we have our gifted athletes who play for us and we try to feature them in different ways. And it's the same in high school or junior high when you're coaching your team. Okay, you're going to organize your offenses according to your kids you have. Okay, uh, let's go uh, Michigan. So on my uh, outline or my uh, article that will be posted, different concepts, so go ahead, you guys go ahead. Um, concepts that we have within our offense, for example, you know, a high-low situation, enter the ball to the high post, go low. Uh, ball screens, handoffs, dribble exchange, dribble screen, flare screens, like uh, there's so many concepts that you could have within your offense. Um, but you've got to again make it simple enough so the kids understand and you're teaching them how to play at the same time. Okay, let's go to uh, our two groups now. Let's do some breakdown stuff. Okay, so I have uh, Megan's group up here. You're doing uh, V cuts and L cuts. Okay, and down here for Steph's group, let's do uh, back door and let's just do back door. So let's get somebody else up here. More kids up here. Yeah, we're gonna do back doors here. Okay, so one side, let's go one side. So we'll do stuff in our warm up of our practices where they're working on ways to get open, because that's important. Or like for example here, we have V cuts. 
Okay, we're initiate, footwork, attacking the rim, all the good stuff that we practice and practice, making sure that we don't turn over the ball. Okay, uh, with Taylor here, we're doing L cuts. Okay, she's cutting down to the block, she's coming up to the elbow. Okay, so again, we're adding footwork. Right now, Kelsey's working on a shot. Here, we're working on back cuts, making sure we're showing the ball and then leading him to the net, and the pass should be on the edge of the board. Good job. Okay, when we talk about passing in back cuts, okay, we talk about shooting the ball to the edge of the board so it's a good pass. Okay, so right now, if I was to go to our front court, so White, White, let's go Kansas. Two's overplayed, hit the high post, show me a back cut. Good, ball comes into the high post, we back cut Steph. Okay, okay, let's do that one more time. And then on this side of the floor, when Skylar gets the ball, hold it. Okay, back cut and fill Britannia. Okay, Skylar, I want you to hold the ball, please. Britannia, stay in the wing. Steph already back cutted. On this side of the floor, we have a flare screen and a pop or slip, just to make sure the defense is working hard, might get something out of it, but we have activity. Okay, again, activity off the ball. Okay, one more time. Good, edge of the board. Good job. Okay, let's do um, reading screens. So we're going to curl here. Okay, so set up your drill so you're curling off the screen. Down here, I want to fade off the screen. Okay, so one group, fade off the screen. One group, curl. Yeah, one group. Yeah, one group. Okay, so just insert a drill where we're reading screens. We're going to curl here because we're being tailed. And we're going to fade here because the defense is cheating high. And we're going to fade back for a three. And I see the kids are doing good footwork here off our flare screen or off our fade screen or our fade read. Uh, our footwork to a three is a high foot, low foot, so left, right. Good, okay. So let's do, um, let's do set up. Stephanie, go to the wing. Skylar's on the paint. Britannia, go to the wing. And Danny, go there. So we're going to make a reverse entry and show the shuffle cut. Okay, ready? Go. Shuffle cut, good. Okay, so we would, we would have drills set up to make sure you're taking the small pieces. Okay, so you're getting your cuts in. Okay, they're inserted right into your offense. Okay. Now, other breakdown ways. Let's go. Uh, Steph has the balls on the wing of Britannia. Steph, you're at the top. Uh, Carry guard Britannia, Megan guard Steph, Danny set the ball screen, and Kelsey guard Danny. Everybody else off. Okay, so we will do this a three on three drill, working on using a ball screen on the reverse. So it's live. Okay, go. Good, we're live. Good. Good, and again, red switch. So we would break down is taking parts of your offense. Okay, so you can work on the skills you want to work on within your front court. Good. Okay, keep going. Good. Oh, a foul. <laughs> okay, let's do, um, let's go two on two. So two wings, two posts, two wings, two posts. Okay, wing has the ball. Okay, we're working on passing into the post. Okay, now I want the defense to change sides each time. 
Okay, so here we talk to the kids about footwork on the perimeter, how we're passing into the post, reading the defense. This is all part of your front course. Okay, running an offense just isn't about putting five people on the floor and saying do this. You got to make sure as a coach you're taking time and taking parts to teach what you want. Okay, you can't get in the game and say, hey, pass to the post. Why are you passing to the defense? This is a drill we do. For example, right now, Britannia has the ball. Kelsey's guarding high side. So we, we ask Britannia to be an active passer, looking to fake, okay? Passing opposite the defense with a bounce pass. Okay, so we're doing the drill, let's go. Good. And if you notice on defense right now, we have Carrie and Megan, they're playing tag. Anytime a post entry occurs on defense, they're working on tagging, okay? Now, defensively, if you notice, you guys keep going, you're doing a great job. Okay, so we have offense working on passing, okay? And we have defense working on how they should be defending a post and playing on a post entry. So every time there's a post entry, Kelsey has to separate. We don't belly up on defense when we're defending. So any drill you do has to have two parts to it. And I feel very fortunate because I have three other coaches in practice. I have Tammy Pennell, who's been part of our program for the past 11 years. I have Mac Prazik, who uh, is a former athlete who played five years here and is also in practice. And Richard Gooch. Uh, many know Richard Gooch, give us a wave. Yeah, Richard Gooch. He's been with us for a long time as well. But I have these guys in practice, so when we're working on emphasizing something on offense, I can have defense being foc focused on as well. Okay, well done, guys. Good job. And stop. Looks good. I can't wait to see you guys play tonight. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we're just going to, because this is actually part of our shooting practice, uh, we play tonight at U of M at 6. And um, generally when you, uh, in university, when you have a game in the evening, you have a shoot practice in the afternoon. But we opted out of the practice at U of M, so I could come show them off here. Uh, let's go two ends again. So we're going to do some review for tonight. And this will be a good, good opportunity for you to go, you can see our offenses. Okay, so uh, let's start with um, Kansas. And uh, I'm just going to start going through them so you can see the pattern. Again, repetition. I really believe in repetition. So let's go uh, Kansas all the way through to the ball screen. Okay. Like hopefully what I'm, I, hopefully what you're seeing is the pattern, okay? And you don't need to run this offense. You can have your own offense. But again, I just believe that confidence is so important when the kids take the floor, okay? You want them to be confident with the ball. You want, to, want them to be confident in their movement. So everything we do, we try to do it in repetition. Good. Okay, hold up, Red. Good, let's go uh, Kansas High down here. Kansas High down here for Megan. Okay, Kansas Low here for Skylar. Okay, let's make sure we get off the ball screen this time. Okay, let's go. Good board, safeties, good job, good job. Okay, now we're in, uh, let's start mixing up. You guys are in uh, Westman 2. Let's get into the wheel, rotate it three times, play off the post. Okay, you guys are in Duke, let's go. Good. So you're going to see right here in the uh, offense, we're going to play off our post. We're automatically going to have a flash and dive. Uh, go behind Danny, do it again. Okay, so we have everything built right into our front court. Okay, so you guys are going to do that again. Yeah, let's get three rotations, guys. Play off the post, flash and dive. Okay, you guys are in uh, Westman 2. Let's go two rotations, play off the post. Okay. 
Okay, we're in uh, Westman 2. Let's play. Let's get two rotations. Let's play off middle penetration and hit the shooter. Okay. So all, really what I'm trying to show you is, um, I mean, we do have different sets. And they know them pretty well, as you can see. But we, we practice this so we get to this point. We're only two months in. Okay, so... Uh, they, they have a good idea of what we're doing. They don't have their own playbook. Okay, this is stuff that we do in practice. Um, what is that, the bleachers? Wow. <laughs> I feel it echoing in my ear. Uh, let's, go, um, let's go push. And uh, in push, I want to play off the uh, post tight. Here, I want to play off the vacuum. Okay, so you can just see I use terms and the kids know, go, let's go. They pretty much know what they're doing. And, and guys, this doesn't take a lot of effort to put the repetition in your practice. These guys can fire this off pretty quick. Keep going, do it again. You know, the thing that I hope when they do go in for the score, they're constantly calling safeties and they constantly have the boards covered. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go PC here. PC, let's hit the curl, because we got to practice that for tonight. PC, let's hit the uh, shooter. Okay. Good, talk through it, that's it. Good. Now the one thing is, um, like I'm showing you what we do, okay, and I'm, you know, one of the things I believe in is sharing is important, and I know that other coaches across Canada West can access all this information and know what we're doing, but the best thing is, if we have somebody to D it up, then we're going to come up with counters, okay, so I find when we're in practice and we're running our front courts, because the kids know them so well, the defense is always cheating whether they're switching the screens or staying with the screens or trapping the screens, you also as a coach have to be able to have your adjustments ready, your counters ready, okay? So when these guys are in practice because they know what's going on, we have built-in counters that they play. And you know, when our opponents scout us and they, they videotape and they mark down what we do, okay, these guys are prepared for different defenses, whether it's man, uh, zone, full court pressure, uh, maybe they trap the wings. I'm going to just show you a couple quick things before I end here. Okay, both teams are in Kansas. Okay, set up Kansas. So uh, guys, let's say that uh, we're playing U of M tonight and they're going to trap a wing entry. So we need to have our half court press break in. So we're in Kansas, we come off the screen, the ball comes in. And enter, where do we go on, on doubles? So we get doubled, walk to your spots. Britannia should be outside the volleyball court line. Come here, come here, Britannia. No, back up. We know they're trapping. Good. So this guy, these guys got into it right away. Good. So Britannia's still learning. She's one of our rookies. It's good. Skylar's one of our rookies. It's okay. We're outside the three-point line. And these guys split the rim. Okay, let's do it again. So we know... Playing against a team like Manitoba tonight, ball gets entered to the wing, they're going to trap us, boom, we're ready for it. Good, and all we do out of this is hit the open person that doesn't have a check, and then we punch the rim. Okay, we attack right away. Okay, let's do it on the other side. Uh, split the rim, split the rim. Yeah, split the rim, Steph. Okay, good. I got still got five minutes to go. Oh, I can do one more thing. Okay, guys. Uh, this is, this is uh, off the record now. Okay, we're preparing for Manitoba tonight. Okay, so we have Sherry coming off the screen. So this is Sherry. Okay, you three go... Yeah, no, just stay in their offense. I'm going to show you Manitoba's offense. 
We're working on defending it right now because we play them in a few hours. Okay, so this is Sherry. Okay, so as a team, we've been practicing this week uh, what we're going to do with Sherry coming off the ball screen because she beat us up a couple weeks ago in this. Um, generally, when we come off a ball screen, uh, we can switch. So let's go. Good, switch. Good. Okay, and then uh, when Sherry comes off, this person rolls, and then the vacuum comes up, right? This is Allison Blasco to go left. We're not going to give her a left hand today. Okay, let's come back. Okay, so this is part of my prep as we get ready for our game tonight. So, Adam, thank you for this five minutes. <laughs> okay, so we've been working on practice this week, uh, chasing and trapping the ball screen. Okay, so show me and then freeze. So come off the screen, chase and trap. Good. Deny. And Kelsey inside. That a girl. Okay, let's do that one more time. Good job. Okay, so we're going to chase and trap off a ball screen. Good. Good. Well done. Okay, start back. Who's going to the game tonight? Anybody going to our game tonight? Okay, you might see this. Okay, so the other thing, girls, I want to practice. So set it up. Here's a screener. This is a non-score. Okay, I want you to back up to the foul line. Okay, you know the screen's coming. You're going to slide through between Danny and Taylor. Okay, go slide through. Freeze. Okay, so one of the things with Manitoba, Sherry is a very good penetrator. Very strong right, knows how to turn the corner and attack us. Okay, so this is the second thing. Um, Coach Pennell was doing video work this morning on Manitoba, and uh, after watching Regina do a, do a great job defending Sherry, okay, this is an option to defend Sherry better. So let's go back and see it. Okay, so you're dropping off, you're telling Carrie there's a screen coming, drop right off. You're in help. Your position, your position, we're talking. Okay, here we go. Good, slide through it. And freeze, good. Okay, so this is the roller, and we want to make sure she doesn't get the ball to score. I want to deny this. Okay, deny this so Allison doesn't get the ball. If Allison gets the ball, make it go to her right hand. Okay, good. Awesome. You guys are great today. Thank you. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a great group of kids. These guys have uh, worked extremely hard so far through our preseason. Uh, I'm not lying when I say they're probably one of the most disciplined teams and hardworking teams I've ever coached. They come into practice every day with a super amount of energy. And you guys know as coaches, when you have kids that want to be in the gym and want to work hard, they're easy to coach. And I'm able to move through practice very quickly working on up-tempo drills because of them. So I'm glad I was able to bring them in and show them off a bit. Uh, most of them are local kids. Uh, we have one athlete who's from Toronto, uh, but these are our local players uh, who come in here and play, and, and uh, they're pretty darn good. Thank you for your time. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the clinic.